Welcome to Urban Music Report ATL. I'm your host, Shay McCray, and I'm sitting here with A Lo, the radio guy here in the building. What's oh up, my baby? God. Oh, you see, and they look where they got me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm a, I feel like a I, I feel like I'm Steven Spielberg or somebody in this director's no, chair. No, I don't do that. And the studio looks beautiful. <laughs> looks hey, beautiful. Smell. Oh, hey, oh my God. Oh, it won't be no other way. This yeah, TST, you baby. Know. You know how I go. You mm -hmm. know, you know. This this is my man from B100. Yes. You know, World Star Hit Radio. Turn up. You know what I'm saying? He also was seen on the airways or Aye. heard on the airways of 107.9. You know what I'm saying? You already You're know. just doing it. Man, you know, we trying to work, you know, we get we get it in. I'm just trying to represent for mi gente latina. You uh oh, know? That's, so that's what I'm talking about. On. I love Atlanta because I'm like the I'm like the only Latin person because like it's very segregated uh -huh. between blacks and Latinos. Mm -hmm. So I'm that plug in New York. It's a million of me. In Isn't Atlanta, it? there's only one. Because here in Atlanta, <laughs> they don't leave you for highway. No. I'm the only one that gets to come to the city. You know what I mean? Here's the four, funny story. I don't see many of you. I'm going to be honest with you. If you do see them, they're all models. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because they have that unique look, that exotic look. So, you yeah. know, everybody want to use the Latino models for a lot of things, you know, because it's something different from African American. Yeah. I ain't mad at it, though. Yeah, they either models <laughs> selling oranges or married with, like, seven kids in a stroller. You know what I'm saying? Now, you married? No. Hey, no, I can't be. You know I'm, I, if, if, I, if I get married, the dream is over. Y'all ain't going to see me on radio. Y'all ain't going to see me in front of green screens. Y'all ain't going to see none of that. You know You're going to see me changing uh, pampas and, and, and saying mommy all the time. You know what? That's an interesting story. You say um, the dream, you're not going to make it because a lot of people think like you, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. You know what? We're going to stick to talking about the side chicks. Y'all keep it locked. We'll be right back. Shout out to my side chicks. Welcome back to Urban Music Report ATL, my man, a -Lo, radio guy right here. You know, but sometimes I got to tame him a little bit. When we went to yeah. break, you know, I had him on a leash. I let him out when yes. we go on air, you know. You got him my favorite subject. He started talking about side <laughs> chicks and wives and all of that. You know, I get excited. You know, that's an interesting topic. Um, you know, a lot of people feel the way you feel. Mm -hmm. They can't make it if they're in a relationship. Yeah. Then when they make it, it's hard for them to find someone to, you know, match their fly or who really sincere and wanting to be with them. Yeah. Elaborate a little bit more on how you feel. Well, um, I feel that, like, for one, um, if I get into a relationship with somebody that's not in the industry, they tend to get jealous of the industry, and they don't think I'm putting enough time, that I'm not doing something. If I'm on set, they're like, oh, you're never home. So they kind of have a, they find a reason to argue. Yeah. Then if I date somebody that's in the industry and they're more popular than me, then I'm known <laughs> as the boyfriend of such and such. And I hate that. And like, we'll be out somewhere to eat, because it's happened. You know, I dated a celebrity, and we'll be out somewhere to eat, and I'm the one taking the picture for them. Really? I'll hold the camera and take the picture for them, or they'll just, or they'll be like, hey, we want to interview you, but really they want to get to my chick, who's really the big star. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, and then, you know, so it's just like, I'm like, especially if, I, if I'm in a relationship and I have a baby. I didn't say I don't want a relationship. I just don't want to have a kid. Right now. Because if I have a kid, then I really can't do what I want to do because people think that because you're in the industry, you're just balling out of control. You got money coming in left and right, and it's really not that. You're really, like, investing in yourself a lot. Which is true. So if you're investing in yourself, how can you invest this money and then still invest in the kid? I would rather have all the money go to the kid and the <laughs> wife than into myself. Yeah. And that's why, that's the reason why I'm not like settled down at the age of, I thought I was like, cause you know, I'm in my thirties. Okay. So I thought that, um, I was the only one. I was like, am I the only 30 year old nah, that, nah, that doesn't really, have kids? It's serious. A lot of people that it's are 30. serious. This is, that's why I wanted to touch base on it. Even though, you know, you have all the side chicks and, you know, that's yeah. why you can't commit right now because of that situation. But we're going to leave that one right there alone. But, you know, I wanted to get to the core of why, you know. Yeah. And I did, I did, I did, I, did, I had some side chicks with kids yeah. and I got attached to the kids. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, Damn. Like I had, I I didn't want to break up with the girl because, because I, the I was in love with the kid. Oh, that's the see, you got you know a heart. Okay. So that's now, what's now 2017. Don't bring your kids around don't me. Don't bring your kids around <laughs> me. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide all of them. Because <laughs> oh I don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> all right. So now, right now, you on the um the internet radio with B100. That's yes. done with De Deb Antony. Yes. Um, and also you're working with her closely because you're an artist. Mm -hmm. um, you're her artist as well, and um also World Star Hit Radio. Yes. But first, I want to touch base on 107.9. Okay. 
Why did you leave them? Oh man, um, you know what's so funny? Um, I was um, I went to go buy some wings at GME Lounge one uh -huh. day, and 107.9 was doing a showcase. Uh -huh. I'm in sweatpants. I'm all rough looking, and my and my boy said, "Hey, I, I bet you won't get in that showcase." And I looked at myself. I got sandals. Probably my socks were probably dirty. And I said, you know what, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. And it was juicy, you know, a little juicy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Juicy, baby. <laughs> right? And um, it was Lady J, Red Dread. All of them was in the panel. And they, was, they, they had a bong. And if you was whack, they'll hit the bong uh -huh. and all of that. So I said, all right. So I went up there and started performing. Took over. Uh -huh. And these chancletas with sweatpants and a rough looking <laughs> face. And um, they was like, yo, you're the man. We want you. And I ended up going to 107.9 because of that. I didn't gotcha. even know. I went to go order wings. Gotcha. And I ended up going there. And then we started doing these showcases. It was like an international showcase. But the but the radio station wasn't even promoting the showcases. They really? wasn't doing nothing for it. And I was like, nah, man. And then and then you have to be a certain way. You have you're like a robot at yeah, FM you can't stations. Say certain thing. You yeah. have to be. You have you can only, at FM stations. You can only play certain type of songs. You got to play only. That's why you keep hearing the same people over and over and over because they paid for those slots. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, wow. So it's like, how can I be a DJ and play songs that I don't like? People are going to be like, oh, Ayla likes those songs. No, I do not like those songs. It's part of the you playlist. You know, I want to play stuff that I like. That's why I don't play trap music in my, on my show. You know why? <laughs> Speaking of your show, you on B100 Future. on Thursdays. I don't play Future and I don't play <laughs> Kodak Black C21, none of that. You little Yahtzee? You don't play? Not a little Yachty, none of that. <laughs> I leave that for the kids. For the kids? Yeah. All right. So you on B100, you're yeah. also on World Star Hit Radio. Okay. Yeah. To me, I feel like it's a conflict of interest because it's the same level of radio. Yeah. Um, How does I, that work for you? I get that a lot. Um, I get a lot of people hating on me, and they'll be like, oh, how come Alo's at this station? How come Alo's at that station? You know, um, a lot of people are like, they're like, this is crazy. Like, he's at different states. Because I'm not only in those two, I'm in some other ones, too. Oh, but at the oh, end of the oh, day oh. is that I'm my own brand. I'm Alo the radio guy, and if you make me choose, I'm going to choose the other. Gotcha. So you either you either accept it or you don't. Gotcha. And I work so hard in my craft that everybody wants me on their team. So it ain't no conflict in interest with me. Why don't you it tell me the name of your them. shows? Oh, Tumba La Casa. You already know. Mm -hmm. B one hundred radio on Thursday nights at ten. <laughs> and then you know Kings of Radio on World Star Hit Radio. Ain't no set time. It's just whenever I feel like uh -oh. interviewing somebody dope, like Shay, you know, I'll bring her up there, <laughs> do the interview, and we just broadcast it like that. Uh-oh, see, he's you dope, y'all. And then y'all catch me on Hip Hop Weekly Radio that's coming out. That's Hip Hop Weekly Magazine's new uh, radio station that we're building. Yo, he dope. They want mm -hmm. him. He good. Listen, we yeah. going to take another the, break. We, oh, you know what? They want, they, we're supposed to have a basketball game with uh -huh. all, the, all the radio stations playing against each other. Really? And they're trying to ask me what station am I going to play for. What station you going to play for? I'm going to play for it. whoever's winning. No, no, no. So no, I'm going to have all the judges. Right now. I, I'm a, <laughs> I don't know. No, I can play for all the teams. That'll be good. The ratings will go up. You know what? I could just be a traitor to all the teams. I just go do a little <laughs> site for each team, you know? He's a comedian, too, y'all. But hold up. He hey. also do some phot photography. He, um, for, you know, shoots a lot of the um, beautiful ladies. We want to hear a little bit more about that when we come back. So y'all keep it locked. Turn up! Welcome back to you and my ATL. I'm your host, Shay McCray. I hey. swear I wish I could take y'all to break with us. Cause yeah. He's a comedian, for real. I think he missed his calling. True story. But. <laughs> it's still there. It's still there. So uh, is that, you know, he do photography. Is that how you get most of your side chicks? I just wanted that. Yeah. yeah. I, you um, you know you? what? Um, <laughs> my One of my first shoots with a model and turned into sex. You know. And then I went and bought all the equipment. <laughs> I bought every I bought lights, I bought goddamn makeup kits, I bought. Uh, you started doing makeup. I started doing makeup, hair, <laughs> nails, toes. I started doing everything, yo. And I'm talking about it was like the sex that we did. It, it was in the West End oh. at Metropolitan <laughs> Parkway in a in the grass. Oh my goodness. Yes, this chick. She was Italian. She was Italian and Mexican, and we're doing a shoot. I have no clue what I'm doing. I just have a camera. She wanted me to take pictures of her. We're shooting outside. I'm talking about we're doing these pictures. And next thing you know, we're like on this grass thing. And she's like, yo, it, this looks like a sex scene. And I said, you know what? It does. Threw that damn camera. <laughs> got it on. In the, I don't know if people saw it. I, I don't know if I really, when I really blow up, if the tape was going to come out. I don't know. But it was, 
It was it was a great it was a great moment. Did you a trip now? Um, it was, that was a photographer. <laughs> you have some great right work. I, I will give that to you. I've seen yeah. some of your work. I mean, but I, this is not your passion though. No. So no, why not photographer? At all. Why are you shooting these beautiful women? Um, I realized that women is the key to everything. Uh, men like to look at women, and women like to look at women. Mm -hmm. You know, because women like to compete. That's the yes. that's, that's what it is. So um, I saw that. Everybody that's really like popular with millions of followers are beautiful girls. Yeah. So I started doing the photography, right? And I knew that my name would be attached to their page. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And that when, whenever I needed models for my stuff, they would come to me because they already know that I'm super official. Yeah. And that that's how that came about. Now it's really like because people hit me up and they're like, "Can you shoot me? Can you shoot the baby shower?" I'm like, "Baby <laughs> shower." No. Can you shoot a wedding? <laughs> no. Can you shoot my daughter? No. Can you shoot? Can you can you shoot this? I'm like, no, I'm not that type of. I'm not. I'm not that type of photographer. So I hate it when people be like, oh, that's when they introduce me. They're like, hey, lo, he's a dope photographer. Like, no, 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 because they're they gonna want me to take pictures of their grandma's, exactly. uh, their grandma's uh, graduation, uh, class reunion, and stuff. And I'm not about that life. You know. So who I mean? the dopest model you ever shot? Woo. Uh oh, um, get in trouble. I saw his lips, his bottom lip started trembling. I saw, I saw. Oh uh, <laughs> man, uh, who is the dope? It's I done shot over twenty thousand, like no, not twenty thousand. I'll say about two thousand to five thousand different people. Um, probably the biggest, the biggest person I ever shot was Future. Okay, the biggest, know, okay, the biggest. Okay, I see star. how he cleaned it up. I see the how he biggest, cleaned it up. The, <laughs> the biggest star is Future. Um, but you know, I don't know who to say who the uh, sexiest is because like everybody has their own like. They have their own look. A, yeah. lo a lot of the times, um, some girls that I think are sexy, other girls be like, "Oh, she's whack. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, oh, yeah. you shoot is big booty girls." Some people don't like big booty. Some yeah. people don't like uh, pretty faces. They like the booty, you know. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah, all yeah. it all depends on. On, on which one you like, yeah. you know what I mean? Now, are you shooting for hip-hop? What you doing at Hip Hop Weekly? Uh, they got me as the program director for their new radio station. Okay. And, um, and also, they got me uh, doing a radio show there. I'm, I think I'm going to call it Turnt House. Okay, so you going in there too? Yeah. Okay. All and, right. Um, but I have shot for Hip Hop Weekly. Uh, some of my pictures have been published uh, on that uh, magazine. You doing it. Turn up. I'm telling that's what's up. Turn up. Okay, okay. Yeah. He know he know the way to the door. Help open the doors. You got sometimes like if when you're an artist or you're an actor or whatever, like this is the thing, you gotta find your way in the door. You know yep. what I'm saying? In the in the door, right? Yeah. So when you're an artist, you're like an island. You're just a standalone island. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta tell people to come to your island, right? Yeah. Because you're an artist. Yeah. So people won't come to your island unless it's going to benefit them, mm -hmm. right? So if you're a photographer, people come to your island because they need you to take their picture for their album cover yep. or, their, or their calendar spread or whatever. If you're a producer, people come to your island because they need some beats. That's right. If, you, if you're uh, if, so the artist is just there standing alone trying to get people to come to the island, but people oh, won't yeah. come to the island, oh, so yeah. they have to go to other islands. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, okay. You shot. Let, let's, let's look at some photos you shot, right? Okay. Real quick. All let's, right. let's go I'm ahead and take you, some. I'm going to show you something. You're going to show yeah, us something? Show you this, 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 we're going to start with Future and then go from there. Make with them your with the beautiful lady. Make <laughs> them your WCW. Start with Future. Go to BOB. End with Rihanna if you want. Uh oh. Y'all keep it locked. <laughs> Yo, that's hot. Can you mm -hmm. shoot me? Look. Oh, I'm shoot. I got you. I got you. I, Look, they all was, say that after they see the what photos, would be right? Your dream shoot. Dream shoot. What you know, would you want to be in. You know, honestly, I want to reinvent this Janet Jackson look when she was strapped in leather, um, like the straight jacket look with the leather. I don't know if you remember that look. Yeah. Uh, leather. <laughs> leather strap. Dominatrix. Yeah, exactly. I kind of want to do that. I've been wanting to reinvent this I thought you was going to say the one she's butt naked and someone's holding her, her like these no, other no, hands no, are no, holding no, her no, chest no, and that, all that. That, that, oh. that, that'd be a little surgery need to be okay. done for that one, but you know, <laughs> we ain't going to go there on that one. So, um, But that's great work. I love it. But you also do music. You're an yes. artist. Yes. That's my main thing. That's your main, main thing. Main thing. And what's so crazy is that like. You know, I don't want to brag, but like when I let other people hear it that are in the business, they bow down. Okay, you know, brag a little great, bit. Take us to your video. Great, we got a, the video going yo, right now. Yo, check this out. This song is 
uh, with me and Billie Jean. It's from my upcoming album, Tumba La Casa, which will be in stores this month. Um, it's a dope video. It's called Take Me High. The song came about me and somebody else talking about Hinduism. And all of a sudden, it turned into something else. And so here it is. This is Take Me High, a little radio guy with Billie Jeans. Uh oh, Take you Me High. You see it right here with Shay McRae. Turn up. Take Me High. Hey, hey, hey. Muevelo, 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 muevelo. Okay, stop, stop. <laughs> That was dope, for real. Thank that, you, that's thank dope. You. What was it? Urban, urban, urban house? house. Urban Love Latin it. house. Latin, Latin house. house. Yeah. Well, what was the Latin piece of it? Because you was Latin. Because I, I, I said a couple words in Spanish. Just a couple. So what's so crazy is that the whole record is in English, but because I say two words in Spanish, uh -huh. it's, it's it all of that is a Spanish record. Really? And that's what I don't get. I really, my music is not catered for Spanish people. It's catered for Americans who want to have like a little want to feel international yeah. for just for five minutes. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it, because I'll yeah. dance off that all night. Thank you. Billy yeah. Jean. So how did you get her again on the track? Oh, Billy Jean's, man, you know, I used my radio resources. Okay. I interviewed her on the radio. She saw, she saw how cool I am, how dope I am, and the vibe went from there. That's why I said, like, radio, right? I use it as a platform, right? I see you. Where it's, when you come on my show, you're going to be my client. At the end of the that's day, we're going to be lifetime clients. That's what's up. So that's what I use it for. Some people think that, oh, I'm on the radio. I made it. No. Nah. There's other things because a lot of the times people that are on the radio, they got to go work at clubs. You know how they be like, catch yeah. me at uh, such and such yeah. lounge. You know what I mean? No, I don't like yeah, to be in the club. Yeah, you don't do I don't so see you in clubs, don't... matter of fact. Now that you say that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to all. be in the clubs. So therefore, um, therefore, that's why I, don't, I use radio as a, as a different type of tool. Well, you dope. You definitely got to come back and perform for us on the sound stage. I yes. don't know if you know. We didn't show you the sound stage yet, but you got to come back for we that. We wilding out. So not only are you doing music, you ghostwrite. Yeah, I'm writing for a lot of people. Okay. Uh, to uh, name a few. <laughs> to name a few. Skip Marley. Uh, okay. Bob Marley's grandson. Really? We just translated one of his songs in Spanish and did a verse with this uh, dope artist named Diosa Fifi Guadalupe, and um, the record is out. It's called... Uh, Yoda for me, you know. That's what's up. So that was dope, you know, getting to do something with the Marley family. Yes. Now I'm good in Jamaica. Right, right. You don't know, respect, bless up. You it's know. some reggaeton now. Um, 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 uh, I've been, I wrote for um, Ronnie DeVoe. Okay. From Belle Vive DeVoe. Really? What did you, you write You know what I'm him? saying? Uh, him and his wife, Shamari, mm -hmm. they're doing this whole pop type of thing. Really? And so we did some dance stuff with them. Okay. You know, um, I'm writing for Jocelyn Hernandez, the Puerto Rican princess, uh -huh. you know. So we got some dope records, you know. Um, so you heard her in the studio? Yeah. Um, so she really, she can sing? She, she does her thing. Like, okay. she's, see, the thing is, is that love and hip-hop, to me, is more like rap and R&B. Yeah. You know, so they really haven't seen her Latin side yet. Got you. So she better you off know? than that one with so the last Latin music. That's, I think that's the lane that she loves is that dance, pop, you know, reggaeton, tembo, just to show her Latinness because she it really is Latina, you know. Got you. And she's a really cool person. So congratulations on having the baby. Yeah, congratulations. What's her real name? Okay, we don't even. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. no. Yo, you're so crazy, yo. That's it. Yo, y'all nuts. People, people think that love and hip hop is the Bible. I listen, swear. It listen, is. listen. Yo. I don't watch it. I'm gonna be real with you. You know, but speaking of TV, you right now and growing up on hip hop, you coming yeah, out? I did a, yeah, I did. I did some scenes with Brandon Morris, who's mm -hmm. one of the main characters on Growing Up Hip Hop, that's coming on We TV. Yep, and Brandon and, is. Um, Brandon, he does. He's Deb's son. Yeah. You know, Deb and, uh, Andy, shout out to Deb. He, Andy. he does artist development for a lot of stars. Okay. So he actually comes uh, in the scene. He comes to go do a photo shoot. So he comes to do a photo shoot with my crazy behind, and then I go and host his showcase. So people are gonna be like, "Wait a minute, the photographer is the host <laughs> of the show." Like they're gonna be. It's, it's so funny. They come to me for everything on that one. All and so right. Bow Wow's in it and. Uh, that one was cool. He didn't know how turned up I was, so okay, that was that okay. was pretty cool. Yeah, you're very talented. Then, I will uh, get that to you. I've been uh, you probably show. saw me already on Sisterhood of Hip Hop. I yep, get a lot. Yep. Of, I get a lot of love from that. Uh, Diamond. Yep, you know, Diamond. Shout just, out to Diamond. She just had the baby too. That's my homegirl too. You know what I'm saying? So, so they just had the baby. So it's 
back to work, you know what I mean? Yep. And I also written for her, so that's pretty pretty awesome that I got to work with somebody that I looked up to when I was younger. Okay, so acting is where you want to go. Yeah, I want to act. Lately, I've been getting a lot of roles to be the plug, you know, to yeah. be the cartel boss and you know stuff like saying? that. But I want to do stuff like, I want to be back in time in medieval times with the kings and queens. I want to really? be a Lord of the Rings swinging swords. And, and I want to be an X-Men. Can I be an X-Men? Huh? Can you put, I can, I can, I can fit one in tight suits. You want to wear a tight suit? around. Hey, yeah, put him in some tights. Put Give him a tights and let me fly around. Let me fly around. <laughs> he want to be Peter around. Pan. We got to have a Latino I want, Peter Pan on I, I want to do scary movies. I got you. I want to be in The Walking Dead, uh, you know, zombied <laughs> out, you know? Like, that'd be cool. Like, I'm, I, I don't want to just keep doing these, like, urban action films, you know? I just want to do something different. Yeah. Right, they see they see something in you. The plug. That's the plug. The <laughs> you come to me, my friend, and you don't have the money, I'm going to take care of you. And you, <laughs> and you and your whole family. There's no way you're going to get out of this shame, okay? <laughs> Mira, mommy. You mess with my familia, you're messing with me. <laughs> he's a natural, y'all. I'm telling you. And he's funny as heck. I'm telling you. That's yeah, what's up. Yes, yes. Check out my eyes. I'm addicted to Instagram. I am addicted to Instagram at Alo the Radio God. Oh my God, you don't know what I'm doing on what there. What you doing on there? We wilding out. At one thing, I'm putting all my side chicks on Fun Street. On all there. of them. How all many? All of them. Woo! It's a lot. It's a lot. It's about where? What? How, how many? I only follow side chicks, so I'm at like sixteen point nine. So sixteen point nine thousand uh, side chicks. Okay. Will be put out on blast on on Instagram. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Okay. All right. I feel mm -hmm. you. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all follow him. How Love can we keep up with you? I'm telling you. Listen, Alo, you is Instagram. Alo, the radio Instagram. Girl. I don't do Snapchat because I'm not going. You ain't going to see me with no dog filter in my face. Why licking. not? You not licking? I'm not I licking see the nothing. Tongue. I'm not licking none of that. Well, you know they have I'm a sword, so you can Hawaii. practice with I'm the... not doing a Hawaiian feathers on my head on Snap. You, Facebook. Listen, once my mom and dad got on Facebook and sent me a friend request, I blocked them. I deleted Facebook. I'm done. Like, no, no more Facebook. Facebook is like for 40 and up. You know what I'm saying? You 40 think so? and up. Oh, I know so. That's for like your aunts, your uncles, your dias, your tios, your grandfather. That's for that. That's family stuff, Facebook. Like, I get offended when I see porn on Facebook. I love porn, you love but porn? I don't like porn on Facebook. Come on now. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, but Instagram, it's the wild, wild west. Anything goes on Instagram. Any, I know. Tell us about it. And Live videos, No, right? I get crazy DMs. I had, a, I had a DM the other day. I wish I, I could read it word for word verbatim. Um, the girl said, she said, hey, handsome. Um, I would like to know, well, let me tell you this. I'm about to get married, and me and my fiance want you to shoot our porn. No way. How much would you charge us to shoot us having sex? And I was like, listen, sweetie, um, congratulations on your engagement, but I don't shoot porn. Why wouldn't you take that job? No. <laughs> would you take that job? <laughs> if I was a photographer, <laughs> no, why not? No, no, What's no, the no. problem? No, 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 no. What do you so mean? So then she said, she, said, she said, okay, well, since you won't shoot, shoot us having sex, would you at least shoot me uh, with my titties out? I said, now nah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> You know, Alo, it's been a pleasure. Yes. I got an Alo. Alo, it's been a pleasure. Pleasure yes. to have you here at TST Network. I'm Woo! telling you. Yo, I love what it. What does the TST stand for? The Specialist Television. The Specialist Television. TST. You like I'm that? I'm going to tell people I got a TST. You got TST. <laughs> you got TST. I got TST. <laughs> Alo, why don't you run. tell them how they could reach out to you? Listen, uh, Alo, I know, the radio I know IG. We got that part, right? That's all. No emails? How about if you want to get booked for a role? How? Oh, yeah. If you want to uh, book me, I guess, and you <laughs> don't use Instagram, uh, Alo the Radio God at gmail.com. Okay. If they yeah. want to tune into your radio shows, B100, World uh, Star, Hit Radio? They, just Instagram, you all right? <laughs> Instagram. You like, I ain't got time for I'm all that. Time. I promote me, not I them. I ain't promoting them. I'm promoting <laughs> me. It's about me now. Okay. Make sure y'all look up the video. What's the name of the video? The name of the song? Take Me High. Make sure you check out my album that's about to come out, Tumba La Casa. It's 15 tracks. Amazing. I got some crazy features. Like, 
This album, man, is off the chain. When I tell you it's off the chain, it's off the chain, man. All right. I'm really proud of my work. Y'all look him up. Mm-hmm. A-Lo, the radio god. Yes. He here at TSC Network, yes, baby. You sorry, mi gente. Mwah, estamos acá. And this your girl, Shay McCray, here with Urban Loser Report ATL. Peace. <laughs>